Hey everyone. In this video, I wanted to go through my top three tips for content generation. I've done content before about, hey, things to keep in mind as you do content creation, top tips for doing presentations, but I thought I'd try and narrow it down to if there was gonna be three things you really think about, what would they be? So for me, I think number one, and as I'm always creating content, is focus on the audience. You're creating content for your audience. No one really cares about how smart you are and how many things you know. You need to make sure you're competent to create the content you're creating, but it's useless just to try and show off how smart you are. What the audience cares about and what your focus should be is how the audience can digest that content you're creating. So as you record a video or write a blog or put together a lab guide, you should constantly be thinking about well, how would my audience be digesting this? How would they be building on the knowledge I'm giving to cement their understanding and equip them with the ability to actually do something useful with this information? That's the core thing around everything you create. And keep the content on the topic. Don't fool yourself into thinking about, oh, they really care about what you maybe personally think and you as an individual, there may be a small amount of interest there, but fundamentally they care about how you can help them. So don't stray from your, your mission in a way and what your content is about. If your content is about helping the audience, keep it focused on the audience. Don't try and start shifting it around, oh, me as a person. You might add little bits of fun in about that, but keep it on track. The focus is on the audience, their ability to consume and do something useful. You wanna help them enrich whatever it is they're trying to do. Never mislead your audience. Again, focus, you wanna build up trust with them. Don't mislead them, don't clickbait them. Keep the focus on helping them so they can do useful things. My second tip would be for your content, protect your brand. So you're gonna create content of a certain type. Now you may evolve over time to the types of materials you create. I started off doing FAQs, then magazines and books and now videos, but don't be everywhere just for the sake of being everywhere. I don't think that's a positive thing. You want to build up a brand of the type of content you create. People know what to expect when you create content. They're going to, again, build a trust and know they're going to get a certain quality and a certain type of content. Don't spam other people's content. I think keep some dignity about what you do. Uh, be consistent in your creation, in the quality of what you do. I try and create a couple of things each week. I don't do more than that. I'm really focused on trying to maintain a certain type of content that I create. And I think that's key. People know what to expect. To really think about your brand and be consistent. And again, you can evolve over time, but be consistent with the quality and the types of things you deliver. And I think what else is important is to protect yourself. I think when you create content, obviously you're putting that content out there for others to digest and hopefully help them, there's gonna start to be interactions with you. And you should feel very comfortable about setting boundaries of what you want those interactions to be. Remember your goals, remember why you started creating the content, and stay on that path so you keep the passion. People might feel pressured, oh, I should read everything and I should respond to everything and take everything to heart. I wouldn't do that. You're gonna get burnt out. You're gonna lose the passion that triggers you to want to create the content in the first place. Don't feel pressured to use mediums that you are not comfortable participating in. 
I obviously do a lot of video things. I'm fine standing in front of a camera and waving my arms around. You might not be. Fantastic, do what you are comfortable with and you'll have a better quality of content. If your medium is maybe audio and a screen share, fantastic. If you don't like doing audio, maybe you wanna write blogs or labs or repos for people to use, fantastic. Your content will be better quality. You'll enjoy it. If you enjoy it, you'll keep creating it rather than trying to force yourself to do something you're just not comfortable with yet. Again, you may evolve over time and that's fantastic. But it's okay to protect yourself and it really is important because if you just feel like you should absorb everything anyone says, it will overwhelm you and you'll get burnt out and you will stop doing everything. I would generally ignore social media for the most part. I would ignore most criticism. Um, people love to criticize. And remember what they say, no one doing more than you will criticize. Generally, the only people that really criticize are the people doing less than you. And if they're doing less than you, do you really care about some armchair critic? You shouldn't ignore them. They're just generally negative people don't let that impact what you want to do. I, I have boundaries. I don't really do live events. I don't pay attention and I don't read suggestions. I don't appear on other people's content. I just enjoy doing my channel. I enjoy doing the content I want to create. That's how I keep the passion. That's how I protect my brand and how I protect myself. I have that boundary that I don't cross over. I create what I create, I create what I wanna create in the manner in which I do it and I enjoy it. So that was it, but I think they're, they're really key things when you think about your content creation. You're creating that content for the audience, so you should always keep the audience in mind. Think about their ability to use it, to digest it, to do something useful with it. You're building up a trust with that audience. Don't disrespect that trust. Protect the brand, be consistent. Um, don't dilute yourself or start going in lots of weird directions just for publicity. Don't clickbait, don't mislead. And protect yourself. You want to keep enjoying the content. If you enjoy it, you'll create better content. The audience will enjoy it more. That's the path to success. So I hope this was useful, nothing groundbreaking, but people ask, so that's what it is. Thank you.